I came home from public school. We seemed to have music in the morning because when I'd come home for lunch, um, my mother would say, what did I, what did we learn or what did we sing in the morning? And she would have could accompany me. She could just pick up the chords to accompany me. I can remember doing that time and time again. We had a piano room. My mother's father was a Baptist minister, so she grew up with music. But her, her father died. Um, he was a preacher and he used to go all around. Uh, he died in Chicago, actually. Really, they had hard times because her, her mother had, was left with, with five children and a yet unborn son, but they always had music. So my mother uh, learned to play the piano. I have a picture of the house and the living room where she grew up and it has a piano in it. So she played the piano. Uh, she went, she has a, had a degree in English from the U of T. She uh, had graduated from Western Hospital in nursing, and I think, she, um, I understand she was the top graduate, so she um, was given a scholarship to the first program of um, public health nursing at U of T. So she graduated from there. And all those years, she was a church organist and choir master at High Park Baptist Church. But you know, once she married my father, she gave up all her nursing. She had been a public health nurse at uh, Runnymede and Annette Street Public School and drove her own car. And that she was married in 1925, so it was all prior to that. And she never worked since then except at home. And a cousin of mine who is 10 or 12 years older than I remembers so much more. And she was always sort of resentful. She knew her Aunt Min, my mother, um, as a very active uh, professional person. She was lively and very talented, I think. And once she married, she never drive, drove the car again. But then each, they were married in 1925, and it was only four years, and she'd had these three. Well, my brother was born in 1930, so she was busy with children in the household. And then, then the Depression came, and that changed a lot of things, too.